a class has eight students the teacher plans to form seven teams which are labeled for a project focus on the word labeled right they're labeled for a project each team should contain minimum of one student and maximum of two students in how many ways can she form the teams so basically eight students and seven teams to be formed and obviously minimum one student will be there in each team and maximum there can be two students right now if you try and understand if eight students are there and seven teams have to be formed obviously each team will have one student definitely right only one team will have one extra student so out of these seven teams we very well know that out of seven teams six teams will have one student each and only one team will have two student yes or no this clarity has to be there out of seven teams six teams will have only one student and one team will have two students so six into one six one into two two six plus two eight students total eight students and seven teams are you able to follow how many students here six into one how many students here one into two so total six plus two eight students you getting it this distribution has to be clear right eight students in seven teams seven teams that's what we are trying to do so you very well know that only one team will have two students now what do we do very simple let us first find out the number of ways in which we can choose these two students who are going to be together are you able to follow forget about everything else let us first focus that focus uh, and find out in how many ways can i choose two students out of these eight students and remember i had asked you to focus on the word labeled here the word labeled here why is this word important remember I, i mean if you look at the permutations and combinations video i have told you that whenever we have to form a team whenever you have to form a committee or you know do some groups and all that it comes under combination right it is just a selection problem it is not a uh, arrangement problem but this particular question has got the term labeled see what it says the teacher plans to form seven teams which are labeled which means it will be called team a team b team c some labeling is done right team d team e and so on some name is given to the team but teams and the moment this name comes into picture it is no more a combination problem it will become a permutation problem because you not only have to select the members for each of the teams but also do the arrangement which person will go to which team like for example let's say uh, the students are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and the teams are a b c d e f and g so student 1 can go in team a or student 1 can go in team b or student 1 can go in team c he can go in team d or e or f or g all these are different cases if labeling was not there if labeling was not there then these would not be counted as different cases but because labeling is involved student 1 being in team a is one case and student 1 being in team b is the other case and student 1 being in team g is the uh, other case there you able to follow so remember it is a permutation case and not a combination case now how do you solve it very simple let us first identify the number of ways in which you can choose those two students who will be together two students will be together and anyway all the other students will be separate right so in how many ways can you choose two students out of eight students eight c two ways yes or no in how many ways can we choose two students out of eight students in eight c two ways right the teams like i've told you are a b c d e f g students who are the students 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the number of ways in which you can choose two students i can choose 1 and 2 i can choose 3 and 4 or maybe i'll choose 3 and 5 i can choose 1 and 5 i can choose 2 and 7 i can choose 1 and 7 and so on right a lot of cases are possible so total number of cases is 8c2 right these two are together 8c2 now what i would do is whichever two students we choose to be together let's say we have chosen that you know 5 and 4 have to be together let's consider 5 and 4 to be one unit 5 and 4 together is equal to one unit you are able to follow 5 and 4 is one unit the total how many units do we have it is like those questions from permutations and combinations right where it says in how many ways can you arrange the letters of the word teacher such that t and a are together so what do we do we consider t and a to be together you remember we join t and a to be one unit we consider t and a together to be one unit so that's the concept here if you have decided that 4 and 5 see 4 and 5 is one of these 8c2 ways or 1 and 2 let's say 1 and 2 are together 1 and 2 together is one of these 8c2 ways 6 and 1 together is one of those 8c2 ways 
So the moment you have decided which two students, whichever are those two students, let's consider them as one unit. These two students are equal to one student. So total how many units do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Are you able to follow? After you have grouped the two students together and consider them as only one student, how many students do we have? How many units do we have? Seven units. And how many teams do we have? Seven teams. A, B, C, D, E, F, G are seven teams, seven positions or seven groups, let's say, seven teams. And there are seven students. Of course, four and five are tied together. They are connected to each other. So they are being considered as only one student. Seven teams and seven students. In how many ways can you do it? Seven, C two, uh, seven teams and seven students. In how many ways can you do it? Seven factorial ways. 8C2 into 7 factorial is your answer. As simple as that. Are you getting it? So 8C2 is how much? 8 into 7 by 2 into 1. 56 by 2, 28. 28 into 7 factorial is 5040. Simplify this. Simplify this. So 28 into 5000 is 140,000. <coughs> and 28 into 40. 28 into 40 will be 800 plus 320, 1120. So 1,40,000 plus 1120 is 1,41,120. Yes, so the answer should be 141120, which is option 3.